hello today. Welcome to One Man's Faith. My name is Neil Owen, and we're going to dig into God's Word here in just a minute. Um, but let me make two announcements. The first one uh, is about a movie that starts this Friday. Yeah, the 28th. This Friday is the 28th, and so I want to play that trailer again. This is, this is for War Room, so watch this real close. been a good enough father. I don't want to be a good enough father. Let's go, let's go! Don't quit! Don't quit! You are good and you are mighty and you are merciful. Praise you, Jesus. Guide me to who you want me to help. Raise up more that will call upon your name. Raise up those that love you and seek you and trust you. Lord, we need an army of believers and will stand on your word above all else. Raise up warriors, Lord, who will fight on their knees. Who will worship you with their whole hearts, Lord. Lord, call us to battle that we may proclaim you King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I pray these things with all my heart. Raise them up, Lord, raise them up. And that's in the theater starting this Friday. I want to encourage you, go see this movie. Um, Phyllis and I had a chance to preview it, saw the whole thing, in other words, uh, a couple of months ago when, it, um, uh, when they had a time for previewing this movie, and it is fantastic. It is fantastic. Mark it on your calendars. It starts on the 28th this Friday. Uh, one of the places I know it'll be is at the AMC 16, which is in the town center, which is right by the big fries on Las Vegas Boulevard and the, and the 215. So I know it's playing there. Uh, if you'll go to warroom.com uh, or or War Room the Movie. Do you remember which one it was, Noah? Uh, I out, okay, it was one of the two. Uh, you can find out where it's showing. Or I think you can go to Fandango. You can probably go to Fandango now and, uh, and see where it's showing. I know it's going to open in at least four theaters. But let's pack the place out. Go see. I mean, not just for that purpose, but this it's a good movie. Uh, uh, I... I, I I can't say enough about it, really. Uh, it's, 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 uh, the story behind it is a husband and wife who are having trouble and, and how prayer enters in and changes everything. And so, and so it's, a, it's a great movie. Okay, warroomthemovie.com, all one word, War Room the Movie. Uh, you can go there or you can possibly go to Fandango and find when it's going to be showing uh, at what theaters. But one of them I know is the AMC 16, which is at uh, the town center there on Las Vegas Boulevard. I wish we had a place here. That would, that would be great. Why don't one of you open a good movie theater so we can see these things here instead of having to go all the way to uh, Las Vegas to see a movie. We need something here. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Oh, and the second, <laughs> that was, that was uh, one movie. The next movie is we will be showing um, Mom's Night Out on September 1st uh, at New Hope Fellowship. It's a free movie, 7 o'clock, come on out. It's a, it's a great movie. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss Mom's Night Out either. Um, uh, Sean, I can't remember his last name. He played Sam on um, 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 uh, oh, <laughs> uh, the one about the rings. Uh, uh, you know, the five rings. Uh, uh, Lord of the Rings. That's <laughs> you know, it's 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 too far. It's too it, it's too long ago. Lord of the Rings. Uh, the guy that played Sam is going it. Uh, plays in uh, Mom's Night Out. He's the, he, he's the father in there, and and it's a it's a it's a good movie. You you wouldn't want to miss that. So the first, 
Mom's Night Out, 7 o'clock, New Hope Fellowship, free. War Room, this Friday it starts. Plan to go uh, and see it. It's not free, but it is worth every penny. Uh, believe me on that. Okay, so with that, let's jump into what, into what we've been doing. And let's start with prayer. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you gave us communication with you. And Lord, you have said that, that where we pray in the name of Jesus, we will have what we ask for. And you said where we, two or three of us gather together and pray, we shall have what we ask for. I thank you, Lord, that, that you have allowed us that privilege to be able to call out to you. And Lord, I pray today, tonight, whenever people watch this, you would go out, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch lives, bring healing in Jesus' name, bring salvation in Jesus' name, bring deliverance, break the yoke of addiction in Jesus' name as people listen to your word. And I love you, Father, and I thank you, and I give you honor and glory. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. You know, with this movie coming up, maybe I should have done a thing on prayer. That's what I'm doing at church on Sundays. But um, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this on Sundays. I'm doing it on Wednesday nights. We're, we're, we're studying prayer. But maybe I should be doing it here uh, since we're talking about that movie. Um, but switching gears, we're doing a series now that, I, that, I've, that talk about the names of God. Okay, and my theme scripture has been Exodus 34, where it says the Lord passed in front of Moses and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness and truth. God tells us about himself right here when he tells Moses who he is. And so names mean things. And that's, what we're, that's why we're looking at the names of God. We looked first at Elohim, which is the, um, the first name of God we come in contact with in the very first verse of the, of the first book of the Bible in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, Elohim. And we talked about that extensively. And then in chapter 2 of Genesis, we, we see another, actually, actually two names, the Lord God which is a translation of Yahweh Elohim. Yahweh Elohim. And it's called Lord because in the Hebrew we don't say Yahweh. We say Adonai. And so we looked at Adonai. Adonai means Lord. Uh, and we looked at the fact that Adonai is used from man to God, never God talking about himself. And we saw this in Genesis 15 when uh, Abram talked to God. He said, O oh Lord God. He said, Adonai Elohim. Adonai Elohim. Um, and we have seen that the name Yahweh is his personal name. He tells us... Um, in Exodus 3, uh, thir uh, 14, he says, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me. Uh, and th that name becomes, becomes Yahweh. And uh, in Gen uh, in later, I, I don't know why I don't have this down, uh, in Exodus uh Exodus 3, verse 15. Let me get to it. And the Lord furthermore said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the sons of Israel, The Lord, in other words, Yahweh, the Elohim of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. Yahweh is his name forever. This is my memorial name. And so in, in verse 15 of chapter 3, Yahweh is God's memorial name. It's the name that he will be known forever. And we started looking at some of the names associated with Yahweh. The first one we looked at was Yahweh Yireh, or we would lovingly say Jehovah Jireh. 
Jehovah Jireh, Jireh, my provider. Yahweh Yireh, the Lord, my provider, or the Lord will provide. And that was one of the characteristics of God that we know of, and we looked at that. And then we looked at, at Yahweh Rapha, which means the Lord my healer, or the Lord our healer, and He heals us. And we looked at that, and then we looked at Yahweh Nisi, which is the Lord my banner. He is our banner. He is what we stand under as, as His people, and we go out with that banner in front of us. Uh, and then we looked at, um, or we started to look at Yahweh Sidkenu, which is the Lord our righteousness. He is our righteousness. And what we noticed in last week was it's not really associated with Yahweh. And this is what we looked at, Yahweh, looked at last week, and that is Yeshua, which is really Jesus' name. Jesus isn't His name. Yeshua is His name, just as God is not His name, but Yahweh is His real name. Yeshua is Jesus' real name. And Jesus really is a transliteration of, of Iesus, Iesus, Iesus. It's I-E-S-U-S, uh, which we have contracted into Jesus, and, it, and it's the Greek. It's the Greek name, but his name is 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 Yeshua, and his last name is not Christ. I'm sorry. Christ is not Yeshua's last name. It's Mashiach, or Hamashiach, meaning Jesus or or Yeshua the Messiah. And that is who he is. All right. Unfortunately, we've got to take a break. So let's take a break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 